Candidates, take your places. Before we do anything, we have a first. We have three gentlemen from Santiago High School who are going to come up and lead the pledge. So. Okay, first of all, your names? I'm Aldo. Dale. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And they say we don't do things differently. I want to thank you all for coming. Uh, Citizens for Corona and this forum are a form of active participation in how we're governed. Our founders would be proud, and they'd be proud that you were here in these seats, because this is important. This is participation on a Friday night. By holding this event, I don't want to honor, uh, I'm not going to introduce, I want to honor everybody, but I want not to introduce any VIPs. You are the VIPs tonight. You're the people who came out on a Friday night to listen to the people who want to be governing you for the next four years. You are the stars of tonight. It's why C4C was formed, as an open place to question, to get involved, and to learn the levers of power in the city. Active questioning is critical to city government. Tonight we do have one member of the candidates who were running, Randy Fox, who is unable to be with us. He had accepted, as had everyone else, and he had a death in his family uh, yesterday or the night before, and he and his family are in Atlanta um, for the funeral. And so we're very sorry, and we, we extend him our condolences, and Randy, we will miss you. But he does have a table in the back after the event. All the candidates have literature, and I'm sure we'll want to talk with you. Couple housekeeping things. We submitted to our moderator all the questions that we had gathered up, questions people sent us, questions that were raised on Citizens for Corona, uh, all those questions. There were close to 50 of them. Um, we gave them to our moderator, and he was, he, it's his job to craft those questions, to ask them or ask others of his choice. We've stayed away from that. The questions, um, excuse me, as is our pattern at C4C, you watched our videos. We're taping everything tonight, and it will be online. Uh, let's see, the rules for the evening have been given to the candidates. We have a one minute time limit for responses. It, let me explain that time is not on our side. When you go through five people and they all have to answer and they're thinking hard and they're answering the best they can, we lose time. We want to ask as many important questions as we can. We ask that you respect that and please, even though it's your candidate and you feel so strongly, no applause. Uh, you can applaud the blazes out of them at the end. They'll deserve it, and they're going to wait for it. But during this, no interruptions, no outspoken things, and no applause. Um, they drew a random number, and there they are. Eugene, Kevin, Steve, Karen, and Dave. The questioning will also go in that order. It'll start with Eugene, go down the road. The second question will start with Kevin, go down and back up to Eugene. You can see the pattern there. Okay. Uh, the next thing is we, oh, when, they, when we do start, they will have self-introductions of one minute. They can say what they want, and that will serve as their opening statement. We don't anticipate a closing statement. We are very pleased to have Ross Newhan as our moderator. His accomplishments in writing and in sports are literally almost too many to mention. <laughs> That's how he's famous, by God. He's in the Baseball Hall of Fame for writing. Um, he's, covered the, he's covered sports for the Long Beach Press Enter Telegram, then the LA Times, and now on his blog, New Hand on Baseball, that's a plug. He's traveled with the Angels and or the Dodgers for 20 years. He served as the LA Times National Baseball Columnist for another 20. How old are you, Ross? <laughs> and he's always asked tough questions of commissioners, union leaders, owners, and players. 
He's not a person who will shy away from a difficult question, but is a fair question, and Ross knows how to handle that. He has received the Times Editorial Award for Sustained Excellence in 1998, and he's a three-time winner of the Associated Press on Story of the Year Award. In 2000, he was voted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown by his peers. What an honor. Uh, the new hands and his bride, Connie, raise, raise your hand, Connie, where are you? There you are. Have been active in the Corona community since they moved here. Ross chairs the Literacy Committee of the Corona Rotary Club, and Connie's on the board of the Y and Library Foundation. We know, <clears throat> excuse me, his job tonight, even though it's difficult, is not just to ask questions here, but to listen to the answers, something he's very well qualified to do. And he can ask for clarification if he sees the need. We know this is not an easy or popular task, and here is exactly what happened when he was asked why he would accept this job. Ross paused, and he's always a thoughtful and relatively quiet gentleman, and he turned to the person who asked him the question of why and said, well, it's my civic duty, isn't it? Not much more you can say than that. Thank you. Ross? Thank you, Jean. Uh, you got in just about everything I uh, wrote for you. <laughs> I was uh, flattered to be asked to do this, and I'm honored to be here. I'd be much more comfortable in a press box at Anaheim Stadium or Dodger Stadium, but I am, again, honored to be here and happy to be doing this. Uh, I wanted to assure the candidates that I will not be asking them to explain the infield fly rule or the suicide <laughs> squeeze play. Um, as Gene mentioned, we're going to start by giving each of you one minute to introduce yourself and say whatever you would like to say in that minute. We'll start with Eugene. Okay, thank you very much, and thank everybody for coming out on a Friday evening to, to hear all of us give you an interesting insight into Corona. A little bit about myself. Uh, moved here in 1964 when I was in the fourth grade, so uh, I was a little bit younger, and went all the way through local schools, graduated from Corona High. Uh, since 1976, my wife Paula and I have uh, operated a local business here and have uh, contributed to the community as much as possible. Uh, the last few years being on council, I'm very proud of some of the accomplishments, the shopping that we have now that we didn't have before, um, the business community that we have, and the business community that we don't have. We don't have distribution centers and warehouses here. I've worked hard to retain the businesses we have, Proud to say that uh, I worked hard with Monster Energy to keep them in Corona. They've got over 2,000 employees, and they should hit around $4 billion in sales this year. A couple of programs that uh, I started within the city is Drive for Life, which is free driver education for our new teen drivers, WebWatch for security for our business community, and currently completing the Santa Ana River Trail. So thank you again for being here tonight. Well, good evening. My name is Kevin Button, and I first want to thank you all for coming out tonight, and I especially want to thank all of the students from our local high schools coming out here. Uh, my, my career is a, a local high school teacher. I teach AP Government Politics over at Norco High School, and my wife and I also own a small cleaning business here in town. I serve on many boards throughout the city of Corona. I think that being a part of the community is very important. I sit on the board for Peppermint Ridge. I sit on the board for the Navy League. I sit on the board for the Corona Fire Safety Foundation as well as the Corona Partners for Parks. And I'm also the lead for the project at Corona Partners for Parks for our Universal Playground that we're working to build here in the city of Corona as well. What I think is very important for the city of Corona is to work to, to better our inner core, our city core. My greatest uh, uh, push, if elected, is to work on a 20-year strategic plan to develop the Sixth Street Corridor to bring new businesses, housing, and life back to our downtown area, to revitalize that downtown area and to bring uh, excitement and new revenues that we can use to expand and to, to grow our city into the future. 
We can do that by working together, by collaborating together, by, by working to, to build housing for the younger generation that wants to live in the downtown area, that wants to walk and live in a walkable core. And we can do that by working together and by reaching out to other communities that have done the same thing. On November 4th, I'd love to have your vote when it comes time to, to vote, and uh, I'd love to have your help once I'm elected to work on our 6th Street uh, corridor and develop our downtown city area. Thank you very much. I'm Steve Ruth, and thank you all for coming out tonight. Like Ross Newhand said, he's doing his civic duty tonight. You're doing your civic duty, and I want to do my civic duty too by serving on the Corona City Council. I'm not going to give you a bio right now. You're going to find out a lot about me tonight. What I want to explain right now is what you will be doing pretty soon when the vote by mail ballots come out or if you go to the polls. You will be picking somebody to help lead Corona. And this person that you're picking is somebody from Corona. You're not picking somebody who's going to the state capitol or to our federal capitol and trying to do the region. This is for Corona. The person that you're going to be picking to choose or you're choosing to uh, be on the council is your neighbor. We're all your neighbors. We all live in this beautiful town of Corona. And what we want to do is we want to help lead and oversee this city. So again, every one of you out there could be up here just like us. Every one of you could run. We chose to run because like Ross Newhand said, we want to do our civic duty. So tonight you're going to be hearing a lot more about me. I also hope that you'll check my website out or my Facebook page or even give me a call and we can meet up and talk about whatever issues that aren't discussed tonight. But again, I want to thank you for coming out. I want to thank the rest of the candidates for choosing to try to lead and oversee this beautiful city and Ross Newhand for doing his part. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Karen Spiegel and I've been in Corona almost 30 years. 30 years ago when I came, I jumped right in to the community being involved because Corona is my hometown. I had only been here a year and yet I knew it was my hometown. Having served on council already, a lot of my goals have been seen, but there are so many more that we want to achieve. My priorities are still the same as they were when I first ran, probably even stronger. They're stronger because I've met so many of you. There's so many things that we're involved in. There's so many things I want to continue to do. We started a strategic plan this past year, first time in the history of Corona. Somehow we have gone our course and been very fortunate by some of the foundations that are set. Now after surviving the uh, most difficult economic times in 75 years, coming out ahead, we need to take direction. We need to have a course. And so we did a strategic plan. And there are six top goal areas. Most of them have been what I've been working on all along. And working on those goals together as a community, the strategic plan was done as a community. So we need to work together and succeed in making those the priority for Corona. And in doing so, so many things will come together. The community will maintain its hometown friendliness. We'll have all the shopping, the retail, the businesses, the jobs. And most importantly, the top priorities we're making you feel safe in your homes, your businesses, and the schools. Working together, we can get those priorities met, and working harder and harder to make Corona the envy. Working regionally in these, the county and the state, I've had the opportunity to work with cities all over. And with those relationship building, we have had some things come to Corona, funding that we've needed for different transportation projects, some of the um, relationships that have helped direct some businesses here. And that's really important too, is that we can't stay Corona only within Corona. We have to reach out and partner and develop relationships throughout the state, throughout the region, and most importantly with our neighbors on the surrounding cities. I'm looking forward to working with all of you. I won't give a detail in my bio, please see my website, karenspiegel.com, or my Facebook page. And I'm hoping that we have an opportunity to meet either tonight or in the future, and I really would like to have your support on November 4th. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Dave Husted. I've been in law enforcement for 38 years. As you saw, I can't tolerate just sitting back and watching wrongs occur without trying to do something about it. That's why I'm running. As you saw me change the posting of the American flag, 
people did not or do not know flag law. I do. I served on the California State Peace Officers Memorial as a, the leader in the Walk of Honor for slain officers. You must know what the laws are and what the rules are and uphold those. First thing is, is your election is for three. Three candidates to build the best team possible. It is up to you, the citizens, to choose those people that are going to make that team of a total of five people. Please choose wisely. Please choose those that know how to do teamwork and leave the eyes out. I'm a U.S. veteran of the Army. I served as a military police officer with top secret clearance. I know how to move, move around, flying in on the ground, classified weapons. Been doing it for the city of Irvine as a training officer, as an FTO, as a canine officer. And, Michelle, how much time we got? Okay. Um, so therefore, I know how to be a team leader and a team player. I do play well with others. I will stand up and do what I have to do because of my commitment. I recently had a surgery and an injury which is taking me out of law enforcement. 38 years is a long time beats up the body. So in doing so, I was happy to get my horse collar off that I was confined to for six weeks, 24-7, and I went, thank you, Lord, for getting this thing off. Doctors told me I could do nothing but walk. Don't lift things over my head. So I grabbed a broom. These hands fit around a broom handle and the green barrel, and I walked the streets of this city, and I swept it. I cleaned up Skyline Trail. I help out with the pause and donate. My wife and I are very uh, supportive of animals, and uh, we raised our four daughters in this town. We love this town. We've been here for 25 years. We're going to probably be here at least 25 more years together. So we're hoping to make it the best possible city that we can. My example, 28 years in Irvine, being their training officer, displayed how well if a city is well planned, a good team is put together, how much can be accomplished. And that is what Corona needs. Thank you.